Hi everybody, it's Janet with Fruit of the Vine Art Studio. Thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful Saturday. My ring light's not working for some reason. Let me see what's going on there. First, let me see if I can pull it up on the page. Come on. There we go. Now let me flip on that ring light. Sorry, I'm trying to be ready. There we go. That's a little brighter. That way it shows up just a little bit better for you. It makes it a little harder on my eyes, but it makes it a little easier for you. Today I'm going to be using a uh, canvas panel. I've got a pretty little napkin here that I got from the Dollar Tree. I think it's a really pretty napkin. And I've got this beautiful piece of tissue paper that has these very pretty roses on it. So I am going to make a little mixed media piece with this that I think is going to turn out pretty cute. I'm going to tilt you down and we're going to go ahead and get started for the day. Thank you for being here with me. Let's get past some of the junk here. Tilt you over. That looks pretty good. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this napkin that I've got here back of it. You're going to want to do is I'm just going to put this to the side and I'll use that for something later. And I'm going to take my napkin and I'm going to fold it in half. Shape. A curve. Okay. So this is the shape that I've cut out of my napkin. It's sort of like a little cauldron it looks like really. I might slim it down a little bit. Let me put it on here and see how it looks. Oh, I think that'll make a pretty flower pot just like that. Yes, indeed, I do. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to get my Mod Podge. And I'm just using regular old matte, just matte Mod Podge. I've got a couple of my Flicy pins out too. I'm just going to get some of the Mod Podge on my little chip brush here. Hmm, let me see. It might be best if I start by just layering some on here, and then I can work around the edges of it. Let me put a circle. And then we'll just lay this down on here. We're not going to worry too much about the wrinkles, but I'm going to try to not have a bunch of wrinkles in it. Put that up like that. Let me get some more of it on right here. Let me get a little more Mod Podge. Because the Mod Podge isn't going to hurt the canvas at all. If I've got more Mod Podge over the edges than I actually have, it's all right. Peel this up a little bit. And I'm going to work that down. Just using my fingers, trying to get a nice, smooth application onto the canvas. Rubbing out the little air bubbles. Just a little bit more right here around this edge. And some right up in here. A little there. Right along the top. Let's see about the edge right here. That looks like that needs it. There we go. Oops. I just peeled off the edge of the, of the pot. But that's all right. That doesn't matter. That'll be okay. We're not going to worry about that in the least. Okay, so now we're just going to put our brush to the side for the moment. And we're going to let this dry. And while that's drying, we're going to go over here to our piece of paper. And we're going to cut out some roses. Let me just take a... 
I'm going to get these pretty red ones down here. Taking a section of it here, kind of working around these two roses. And this one's got these leaves coming off of it. So here I don't think you can see where I'm cutting at. I'm just going to move this over here for you. I'm just cutting around this paper that's got these beautiful roses on it. And I'm going to use some of these to be in my pretty flower pot. Now they've got this nice white background on it, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm trying to get this over here away from that, and I'm getting it out of your view, I know. I'm just cutting around these roses. I probably should have cut these out before I got started. I didn't think to do that, though. I thought it would be more fun to do it with you guys. It'll certainly be more time consuming, that's for sure. So we're gonna have some roses. We'll put some right in here. We're just gonna look and see how it's gonna look as we go. We'll put some roses right in here. Let's get this pretty pink rose right here. work around this. I don't want this part on there because that's not in the right direction. Okay, and then we've got this pretty pink rose right there. Let's get this deep red rose. There's two little flower leaves sticking out on it. We're going to put these pretty little purple things off to the side for the moment. Oh, let's just take this pretty pink one with it while we're at it. I'm going to use that one right there, even if it is missing a little edge. It'll be okay. We can make that work. It can be one of the ones in the background. Maybe put this like right in here. And then get this one right here. Let's see. Maybe we'll put this dark one. this way with the leaves coming out over like that and then we can put this little other dark one right in here with that little bit of purple face and well let's face it this way why not wait a minute let's trim this a little bit just a little There we go. Got a little more of the paper off of the edge of it. So we'll put that one right, like right there. Put this one over top of that one. And then maybe we'll put this pretty one right on the top of there. And then let's take, let's see, we've got this pretty little pink one right here. Let's just trim him out. pretty little leaf coming up off the of hem right here. Doesn't have to be right against it, just kind of around it, just sort of around it, because it's going to be overlapping in different ways. Let's put that leaf on top here, this right there. Then we'll put this one right in here. I 
sort of on top of that. And we'll take some of these little flowers. And we'll just sort of add them around. Put a few of them right in there maybe at the top of that. Let me see, where was I cutting it? I want to keep kind of cutting in the same areas. Oh, I hear the ring doorbell. Get another dark red one. Just kind of pull it a little bit. Okay. And then we'll put him... Oh, we'll put him right in. Let's put him right there. And we'll bring him back out over the top. I'm going to start putting him in, and we're going to see how this looks and what we might need to do to add to it. Start putting him down and see how it starts really showing up, right? And then we can kind of decide as we go. So, let's just kind of scoop some off. Maybe trim some of it up. Don't want too much of the white showing everywhere. Especially on these ones I've got hanging over the edge. All right. That looks pretty good. Okay, so let's get the Mod Podge, and we're going to put some of the Mod Podge on here. And we'll just put it on this edge right here. We'll put a glob of Mod Podge, and we'll put some right here, and we're going to put these on. And we can always add to the back of it whatever we need to do here. Even if it goes over the edge, I'm not even worried about it. Just going to put it on here. And bring it right over the edge. Let's take this pretty pink, light pink. And we'll put him right in here too. Let's put this green hanging down over the edge, just like that. Put some right on the top of this. Put that right there. Bring that right over the top of that. Let's get this other pretty one that'll go in the corner over here. Put us a glob of Mod Podge right on there. Okay. Let's see, we turned, let's turn him sort of that way. And just put the Mod Podge right on the top of it. Okay. Yeah, there's a dark color flower right there. It's a pretty light one right in here. Oh, wait a minute. Let me peel you back off. Turn your leaf sort of this direction so it goes together. There we go. Just put it right on top of the other one. I'm not worried about it in the least. Let's get this pretty one here. And we'll just put him right up in there. Get these little guys. We're just going to set them right in here. Let's see. What else? We got to get some other ones out now. Cut us up a couple of more while these guys are drying on here. I can see underneath there. That needs a little. There we go. 
You can always just add as you go. Just kind of add as you go. All right. Let's get some of these pretty little purple things. I think that would look neat in there, too. Let's add a little purple. And maybe we'll have this come shooting out right over here. down a little bit, top of that flower. Oh, here's a dark purple one. Let's grab him. And maybe we'll just have him, maybe just kind of coming out right down here. him in that way. He's kind of coming out and around. That's all right. Okay. Oh, here's a couple more of those little flowers. Let's use them. Cut off some of the excess white that we don't really need. Okay. Oh, and maybe we'll just put these right down in here. It's coming down the base right in here. They don't show up quite as well on the base, do they? But that's okay. We're not going to worry about that. We're going to do a little bit of fun outlining. Once we get it all carried away here, once we get all carried away here, as always, I'm always getting carried away, aren't I? <laughs> That's all right. That's half of the fun of it. Let's get carried away. Okay, I'm going to cut out another rose. Light colored one. And we'll put him up in here. Might help if I put it down the right direction, huh? Here, let's turn it that way so that the green that I've got on there is kind of at the bottom. Come off of my finger, you pretty little thing. There we go. Press those air bubbles out. Let me see now. Rub that off of my fingers. Here's a pretty purple thing we're going to use. And look at this one coming out right here. All right, that's looking pretty. Maybe use this greenery. We got a piece of pretty greenery right here. We'll just kind of cut that off a little bit. Trim him up. Okay. Let's make him Oh, got a hair in it. There we go. Not a hair, but a bristle. Okay. Get that bristle off of there. I got it on it again. Come on. There we go. 
press that down just a little bit. And we get another pretty deep red rose. Ooh, it's trying to get away. Okay. Let's put this one right here. There we go. Now let's see. Let's add a little more of the fun purple stuff. Let me get this off of here. A lot of little greenery and purpley things here. So let's get, let's get some of this. And let's just kind of put this greenery right in here. Oh, it's just like that one. Good. We'll blend right in. Just put it right on the top. Okay. Take this purple one here and just trim this up. Hmm, that would have been better, I think, right there. Let's do it there instead. It's okay. We got Mod Podge everywhere. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Because it's not going to hurt anything. Put it right on the top of it. got to come off. A little piece of paper in the middle of the rose. Rub that back down. There we go. Get another piece of that dark purple. Make it coming out down there. We can't tell where on the pot it's coming out of, but it's just coming out of the pot and it's all over the place. Flowers everywhere. We need to put some over on this side, I think. Sticking to my fingers really bad. Got too much Mod Podge on me. Okay. Let's try this again. Worry about it having a harsh edge. I don't know how that's going to look when it dries. But we'll see. And we'll see. And if it doesn't look right, we won't do this again then, huh? We'll learn a little lesson from that. What do you think? Maybe right in there? I think that's a spot for it. There we go.
around. Let's see, should I put another little set of three flowers in there? Just three small flowers, maybe? Coming right up out of the back of there, or maybe right in here. Or... Over the edge there, maybe? That would balance that out a little more. First, let me try to... Look at that out. Put them right here. Right in there. Three more flowers coming out the edge. Maybe another little piece of greenery. this. Just like that. Maybe a small balance of purple down here. Hmm. be necessary. Yes, I do think that would look all right. I'm, I'm looking at it in the computer to try to see the balance from upside down, of course, as I am looking at things upside down and backwards. Well, not backwards, upside down, but that's okay because we're just working them in here. Let's see, can I pull you up a little bit? There you go. Put that right in there. Isn't that pretty? I'm really loving it, you guys. I really am. I'm loving it. I think that looks so pretty. Maybe that's all the flowers I need to add to the vase, don't you think? I think that's probably more than enough. I need to outline my vase a little bit so that it shows up just a little bit more. First, I think I'm going to put some Mod Podge on the top of the vase. Just to protect it a little bit more. Don't want to be too rough with it. You got to kind of be leather, you know, leather. Feather light, not leather. Feather. Feather light. But you also want to try to press out any little air bubbles that you see as you're going along. That's got something on it or under it. I'm thinking it's under it. A little glob of Mod Podge, maybe. Okay, so now we've got that all done. I'm going to put my Mod Podge brush in the water, and I'm going to fold up the remaining parts of my paper so that I can use it again for another craft because I really love that paper. I think that's absolutely beautiful, beautiful. Did I show you what we made in our little kids club today? Isn't that cute? It's the last of the April showers. Paper plate craft. We're doing some fun things with paper plates. Next month we are going to be doing some fun things using coffee filters. So that'll be all kind of fun and different. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to close this. Oh, I still had a few pieces of nice greenery to add, didn't I? Nah, that's all right, Janet. You don't have to add everything just because it's there. Just because you have it. 
but I've already cut it off, so I, I hate to waste it, you know? I hate to waste it, but I don't want to over, overwhelm any of this with too much of other stuff. Okay, so now our little pot kind of looks like it's floating in the air, doesn't it? And we could use just a little bit of color in the background, I would think. So I'm thinking maybe some Caribbean blue for our background, just a little bit. And I'm not going to use much, I'll tell you that. And I'm going to use a paper towel to put it on with, a piece of the paper towel. Because I'm not going to put it on in many spots. I'm just going to kind of put it around the edges here. Just sort of working it. This way. Just adding little bits of blue here and there. Around the edges of it. Touching it in just little spots here. Very lightly, go around the edges. Gonna hurt to touch it. And you get little spots of the blue in the background back here. Just a little bit. Okay. Now we've got this beautiful looking background on there. But we still need to have a little something down in this area. I'm going to get a little more blue. Bring it down to about, get that off of there, to about right here. That's enough of the blue. Light blue. Let me get some of the turquoise. No, I don't want the turquoise. Where's my navy? Nope, that's bright. Should have had it out, huh? Here it is. Here's some dark blue. Okay, we're going to get a little dark blue. Get that on my towel. I'm just going to take it straight from the lid. edges. And I am trying to fill it in a little bit more.
turn it this way for just a moment. Pinch that a little bit. Get me a little more blue. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to rub it right up to the edge of my flower pot. Bring it across. And then I can take this and kind of move it around back and forth a little bit more. Give me a little bit of black. Open that. Don't need much, just a little drop. Tap that off a little bit. Gonna get a little bit underneath here. Maybe a little more on this edge over here. Just tapping it on. Darken up this side a little bit. Let me get that a little bit darker right there where the Mod Podge is kind of. Changing the color of it a little bit. Now we've built ourselves a little bit of a shadow down here. Okay, and then I'm going to get just a little bit of the blue again. You can get me just a... Hmm. Let's see about that. There. That should be a little better. There we go. Let's get back to this side. Bring it in a little more here. On. There we go, about like that. Let me see, I'm looking at that here in the computer. That shading looks a little odd. We're going to have to get a little more black. Bring it a little more this way. And then get me a little more of the blue. Bring it more across right here. Maybe a little over here too. This is the edge of the table. Hey, Carol. Thanks for joining me. I don't know what this thing is doing. I, don't, I, I just, I don't see the comments on the computer this time. I happened to look up at my phone and happened to see that. Hey, I appreciate you guys being with me. I couldn't tell. The, the computer's not showing me any kind of comments or anything going on. I, I can't... I don't know what it's doing. Ah, I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> Once again, Facebook. Doing something different. Always doing something different. Let me see. I'm going to get a little more of the black right there. Right underneath. 
Mm, so let me see if I hold this up again. Can I see that better? I think so. I think so. Okay. I'm going to put the lid on this. It's starting to take itself. It's drying. Taking itself a minute, huh? Taking itself a minute. Where'd I put that Caribbean blue? So now with this Caribbean blue... Take this brush, and I'm going to darken this pot up along the edge and give it some shading. Where the white is here, just sort of work that in. And across the bottom. Across the bottom of the pot, because you want it to have a nice shaded, rounded type appearance to it. It's got to have some shadow. Maybe a little bit down in here. Not too much. It really doesn't need too much of it. But that way it gives a little bit of shading to the pot itself. You put a little bit on the side and a little bit down underneath it. See how that kind of helped give it more of a, a rounded look to the pot itself? Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do, put that in the water. I don't want to put it in that water, though, with the Mod Podge. So I'm going to get my little pen. And I'm going to take my little pen. And I'm going to outline my little flower pot. Not completely, just a little bit here along the edge. See, it goes like that, and it comes across the top right there, over here, go through there, right around there, just a smidgey here and a little bit there, and oh, you can see a spot of it right there through the background of it. Yeah, let me see, maybe just bring it on around here. It does show up a little bit. And this is just one of my flycy pens. All right. See how that helped it just show up just a little bit more. The flower pot itself has a little more of a, a feel to it that way. Now, I could sit here and do all the flowers and everything else, but I really don't think that that's going to be necessary. What I will do, though, is I'm going to make a, a definition right here of my tabletop. Just by taking this and just making me a line. So that now my flower really does, my flower pot looks like it's sitting on the tabletop. There we go. That's better. I'm not going to outline them flowers and do all of that stuff because that'd just be crazy. I like it just the way it is. I'm looking at it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I like that just the way it is. Now, I know one thing more I'm going to do to it before I finish, just to kind of give it a little bit of a farmhouse type look to it. 
I'm going to take my little brush. Actually, maybe I should take this one. Let's rinse this Mod Podge off of here because this will be a better brush for this. Let me get that. Be careful what I'm slinging, huh? Get that off of there. <sighs> okay, and I'm going to get the black. Let me get the black. And then I'm going to take most of the black and get it off of my brush by just rubbing it on this old paper plate. And I'm going to go, oh, I splotched it right there. I'm going to go from the edges inward. Around my whole thing here. Just lightly sweeping it over the top of the edge. Kind of makes it on its own little frame. Kind of frames your picture for you without having a frame. Without having to have a frame. Maybe pull it a little more on the edges down here. And across the bottom, let me tilt it this way. Bring it up across the bottom too. And we are done. See how it gives it its own little frame? When you do that around the edges. Might not hurt it to have done a little more around the top. Let me see. Bring it down just a little bit further to give it a little more of a framed look. All right, guys, I am going to stop because if I don't, I'm just going to keep doing and doing and doing. And you know me. I'll just keep going and going and going. So this is it. This is our mixed media project for the day. A napkin, tissue paper. I used a paper towel to paint with mainly. And Mod Podge. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks so much. I'll see you again on Wednesday. Bye.